Okay, today we will see how we can uh, uh, query from a database and then we'll expose uh, that uh, service as an web services. Okay. So last uh, class today when we are discussing about the flow control, so there was one question is being right. So that that one what I have given is the wrong information. So so how what happens is if you don't use the flow control each and every shape will execute it uh, with all the number of documents let's say if this particular shape has written 10 documents and uh, and and each, every shape will be executing 10 documents after executing all the 10 documents then only the ne next shape will be executing the 10 documents so but using the flow control what you can do you can you can use the flow control and then pass one document for all the shapes after finishing first document executing, then you can uh, then you can start the uh, then flow control will pass the second document. That that's the behavior of flow control when you enable the uh, when you enable the uh, for each run run each document individually. It's, it's yeah. only one document for all you the mean, executed. You mean flow control is nothing but a for each? Yeah, it's, it's functional gap actually for each, but we cannot uh, uh, we cannot iterate uh, uh, specified number of iterations. But based on the number of document count, it will it will go it will follow. Yeah, yeah. For each also having only it going to be processing each and every one one only. It's not taking bulk. Hmm. But what I last time given statement is uh, without flow control, all the documents will execute uh, parallelly or uh, simultaneously but simultaneously yes it's, uh, it's executed simultaneously but not all the shapes it will execute particular shape simultaneously then mm -hmm. then all the set of documents will move to the next shape that's how that's one but uh, but it's not going to execute all the shapes uh, uh, parallelly first one shape it will execute with all the documents then the pursue the same set of documents with the next document that's how it happens yeah, that is only for each, right? That is for each, but uh, but the flow control what with the flow control uh, whenever you want to execute one document with all the shapes, and after finishing the first document, then you want to pry allow the second document. In that case, we need to use the flow control. Correct. By default, by default, what happens is if if the five, five documents is there, all the five documents will execute it by the set properties. And next five documents will be moved to the next shapes. That's how it happens. Yeah, yeah. Gen yeah. The normal thing is how how many records are uh, coming as feeding to the service. All the records are uh, executing uh, each and every stage having the na same number of records. Hmm. Hmm. So if you want to see that thing, right? If you want to see whether it's exactly uh, because if it is executing simultaneously, basically it has to be executed in different threads. So if you just use very very small uh, uh, custom scripting to just display the thread threads threads and all, you you will get to know. If you just use something like you know threads uh, current thread, and then just log the thread name, so that you will get to know. Uh, it will be all executed, it not execute in different thread. But if you're using flow control, apart from running uh, uh, apart from running. Uh, the documents one by one you can also execute different threads or a different process that's called basically parallel processing okay but whereas if you have multiple documents are executing with your flow control all will execute in one, in one thread but uh, all threads are executed one day uh, one thread but each uh, shape will be executed with all the number of documents simultaneously after processing all the documents then same set of documents will move to the next shape, but all execute within the same thread. Uh, if you don't mind, can I repeat that uh, the same logic, same sentence? Hold on a second. Let me show you on your own.
let me run this process so here what i am doing is i am passing some test message and then i am splitting it and then doing some kind of uh, xml manipulation into custom scripting and then i am just logging it logging it here so if okay. you if you see here it's coming only one document now one document then one document after the data process we can see that it's, it's been divided into multiple documents okay okay multiple documents and then again same set of document is came here but if you if you notice this thing log right okay first the first one is the data process okay the message shape has result to only one document here only one document message shape so that then the one document is in passing a, a, a feed to data process data process resulted in six documents okay If you, if you notice the six process, six document, right? All these six documents will execute by the again uh, uh, data process. After six documents execution complete, then only again same six document will go to notify. Okay. That that's a default behavior. So here this one is resulted six document. All six document will will execute to, to the first uh, uh, data process. So, sorry, the last data process. And after six document completed, then it will pass the same set of documents to the next step, and again it will execute the same the same set of documents. After finishing all the same set of documents execution, then it will move to the stop step again. That's why you can see here second data process six and notify also you can see six and stop again you can see six. That's the default behavior. But if you don't want to Uh, execute uh, uh, all the six documents uh, 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 second day uh, last data process and then again same set of documents here if you don't want to do that you pass only one document and execute all the shapes like uh, last data process notify stop and whatever other things are there and after completion then you want to take some input from the previous uh, the the first document and you want to pass that to second document something like that if you want to pass only one document at a time And let that would let the one document finish all the all the shapes of execution. Then you want to process the second document. Then that's a flow control law. Flow control run each document individually. Yeah, yeah, I can understand. So how can I apply that flow control for these three application, these three component? It means so. Uh, See what flow control is nothing will do. So when it flow control it should have the it flow control should receive the multiple documents so this is the place where exactly generating the multiple documents okay that's all you need to do you just run this behavior now okay i have one more question uh uh -huh. so this flow control i need for only for uh, until notify though after that one i have few more components i have to be used then you can you can at once flow control but you don't have a control to only apply it to these many shapes you use branches and uh, you 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 uh, segregate your flow you understand right for example uh yes, are, and that's what i told you so after you after you put a second right here right you cannot you cannot keep mention in flow control right? flow control doesn't have any configuration so you cannot restrict that this flow control will apply only the first two documents or for for the only first shapes or Or our first three shapes, our first four shapes. After that, don't apply. You cannot restrict that. Once flow control is there, whatever shapes are there, uh, after flow control, that flow control behavior will apply for all the documents. So you select run each document only. So if you see the difference here, right? If you want to only apply first three three shapes or next next further shapes, you don't want to apply. You can segregate the flow using branch. In the first branch, you put a flow control. And uh, only the four shapes you want to execute in the loop, you can put it in the first branch only. Second branch, you don't have flow control, then there is no impact. That's how you need to executing shape in six documents. Where is the flow? Sorry. Uh, start shape. You can see six documents. Shape. 
sorry not sigma one document six seconds is this one is and it's again uh, shapes uh, executed in five documents it's message shall be one document sorry okay data process is this is the where we the result is six documents after that we have passed the after that we have passed the flow control flow control is receiving the uh, six documents flow control is uh, uh, six documents okay so this is is 25101 and then after flow control right you can you can see where the flow control here then you can pass that executing one document data process okay here earlier we see that data process is executing six documents one document one document executing with one documents in uh, this is now earlier if you, you you can see you might have seen here six documents correct you want to see the difference right this is with flow control right this is with flow control so you can remove that flow control and then just start the execution and you can see this one. even though you put flow control but the flow control receives only one document there is no there is no change in behavior after adding a flow control if you select run run individual document okay okay this is the this is the how it say okay what first uh, data process is the data process generated six documents and next data process is executing six documents here okay all right so we see after introducing a flow control what happens here is i don't know why this must work and you can see data process in the flow control it's completed six documents now completed with six documents out and after that notify and everything is passing and whereas here accumulate anywhere after that one so you what is the channel right you can accumulate you want to your first document output you want to accumulate to second document you can accumulate it yeah okay accumulate it right so six times it will coming so after six documents make it as a one document right after that one now you can execute you can use the data process split right you can you can do that Oh, it's only, only it's only show you how you want to execute that that's only control it that's a flow control just behavior is so yeah as i mentioned right flow control receives six document and Correct. the process is executing one document whereas six documents executing simultaneously here six documents are not executing simultaneously it first pass the one document after one document is completed okay then again notify complete one document again Uh, the that uh, again notify and stop is completed okay and again now it's passing second document like this like this first document it's kind of a, uh, pass one document with all the shapes after finishing all the shapes then pass second document that's a that's a behavior right so what are the ways to accumulate the results so uh, only um, array list or something is there any different there is no difference Uh, okay we, we use a uh, uh, flow we, if you are using uh, what i can say if you are using uh, uh, without flow control it won't uh, it won't accumulate hey yeah, i once we flow once we use the flow control so after the notify i have to be accumulate each and every six six times the six documents are passing right first document is coming and the store in some xyz and second uh, document is coming and uh, addition to the xyz a, uh, abc so the final am amount final value right mm -hmm. so that final value i can be able to use for the uh, some other purpose mm -hmm. so how can i come, uh, accumulate it uh, in mule we are using a array list or something 
so whenever whenever the uh, output is coming it uh, it will be accumulated mm -hmm. this is how you need to do so use the flow control here let it okay. run the documents use the set properties here result so you define the current data as a result and again you set it the result for same property you set it back to just adding it to previous one so when you are coming to the first iteration the result document will nothing will not go because by default process properties are whatever any property is a document or process property default value will be null so that then mm -hmm. For the current data, when it coming for second time, uh, it, it, this variable has the previous data and you have the current data. So like this, you will be adding i equal to i plus one. So basically, do the calculation okay. here. So then after that, you can you can just display the in the second branch. You can just display the not be fine. I'm just putting is just for. The, but it has a lot of manual work, right? Obviously, the a lot of work will be there. <laughs> that that's uh, that you cannot avoid. Is it? Is it? Can you run it now? You can see the difference. You can see that first document is this one, and second document again XML processing instruction is there. Yeah. Like this, it will combine everything. It doesn't doesn't matter what format it is. You just combine everything. And then again, you need to format this one. Based on your message, you are using such and such data processes. You want you need to combine this one. Or else you can use a caching mechanism. Each and every document you use it to cache, and then you can later on retrieve it. So other option is there. Okay, now now let's move on. Okay, so let's uh, let's show let's open the database first. Let's see if the database has any reports. Before opening a database. Um Mm -hmm. I am not able to execute select command. I think it should come default one. I think it's all on this one. Typing the auto. I'm typing here. Just typing here. Okay. I don't know. I'm thinking here. Passing the house in Austin probably. Looks like system is uh, running very slow. No, oh, what happens? Nothing is running. I'm looking at the screen. No, I'm sorry. 
Because database is just a dot, it's not a, a, a service, it just need to run the on demand. Yes. Yeah, I'm trying to run Something, nothing is hard behavior and thing. So don't know no other option that you can start it. Okay. First, we'll design the project. Okay. What we'll do is we'll just try to query a database. If the database is, uh, we'll, we'll wait for some time. If I still not, then we'll use some other file or something as a store to retrieve the data. And now let's, uh, now let's use query books. Let's let's see. This is a service we are we are trying to build. Quality books. So let's uh, data. As of now, we we'll, first we'll see that the what is the logic that you are trying to do, whether it's working or not. Okay, let's go for the. Uh, now we need to refer, we need to use the, let's use the file based one and then we, later on we'll move that one. So we already have the file one here. So let's, uh, where is that one? Let me change that file. Inbound folder under I think it should be there. The data folder it should be there. Okay, the data inbound book section is there. No system, I don't know what is running. So too much slow. Some system service is not started properly, it looks like. Yeah, system is the fault. Give me a minute, let me restart it. I think we'll do it. Yeah, 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 sure. 